full transparency, I'm a recovering people pleaser. <laughs> like just really realizing that now. And a friend of mine said to me one day, she said, you know, you're so afraid to disappoint other people, but you're not afraid to disappoint yourself. Yeah. And that's it. You have to be more afraid of letting yourself down than letting everybody else down. It doesn't mean that, you know, I always tell people like I have this quote that some people kind of look at me sideways, but I said, I'd rather live, I'd rather be viewed as cold hearted and live broken hearted. And what I mean by that is like, I'd rather somebody tell me, oh, you changed or you don't come around no more or because I'm no longer doing the things that maybe they benefited from. Oh, you're cold hearted. But I know when I have disrespected my boundaries, mm -hmm. when I continue to please people and let myself down, um, I end up breaking my own heart. Mm -hmm. And so being a professional people pleaser, as I call it, is a real thing. And mm -hmm. I think we're so afraid, as you said, to let people down that we let ourselves down. And at some point, you're going to feel empty. At yeah. some point, you're not going to have nothing to give to the world. And I have a quote that says, the first step to being unhappy is trying to please everyone else. Yeah. And I think that's so true. And so what I've learned how to do is I've gotten to a point, and it's, take, and it's taking work, and I still have my people-pleasing tendencies, but I realize that's mission impossible. I'm like, mm -hmm. this is who I am. And I know I'm a kind-hearted person. I know I'm mm -hmm. a good-hearted person. But if if how I'm living or what I'm doing doesn't please your perception, that's not my problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a lot of people will put their perception on you and they will want you to be who they want you to be. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I even have it in my career where people would be like, you should talk like this or sound like this. And if I listen to everybody, my life will be all over the place. So I got to listen to what's true to me. Is there is there a way to check in with yourself? So here's what's interesting. As I was reading this book on the plane this morning, coming here, I have like three things that I was really struggling with if I was going to say yes or no. And then I read parts of your book and I was like, okay, there are no. Like, I'm yeah. going to say no to these things now. And you, there was something in there about how when you say all the yeses, you're now living other people's lives. Yeah. You're not living your own. Yeah. So what I then asked myself was like, is there some kind of internal e feeling that I could have of like, because of putting myself into the future of say, agreeing to all these things. And, but then when I get in it, I'm like, this is horrible. Whoever signed exactly. me up for this. <laughs> exactly. And then I'm like, I signed me up for this. So do you have like a, a gut instinct? Do you have like a formula user in your head? Because surely right now you've got so many opportunities. Yeah. Is there like a litmus test that you do that say this works for me? This doesn't work for me. Yeah, I, it's trial and error. I think saying yes so many times in my past to certain things that even seem good on the surface, even seem they were great, but they weren't great for my peace. And right. so peace is always my guiding force on how I make decisions with my life. If it's going to take away from my peace and I know it and it's going to stress me out, then it's an easy no for me. Mm -hmm. And so I like to tell people like your principles, what are the principles you have set up in your life that you know, your principles can make the decision. It sounds like a cop out, but I tell people all the time, like, I would love to do that. But the way my principles are set up, I can't do it. Right. And so it's not me telling you, no, it's my principles. Because if I go against my principles, I know where that's going to lead. It's going to lead to burnout. It's going to lead to stress. It's going to lead to me gaining weight. It's going to lead to all these things if I continue to say yes. And there's a beautiful quote. It's not mine. Uh, it's by you know, a rapper named Nipsey Hussle. He passed away. I don't know if it's his, but he said something that uh, really stuck with me. He said, would you rather be at peace with the world and at war with yourself? Mm. Or would you rather be at peace with yourself and at war with the world? And that really hit me because I think a lot of people are choosing to be at war with themselves by making everything and everybody else happy.